So let's figure out how to assemble this thing. We're going to start with the bottom bracket. If you printed this as I have with something translucent, which I recommend because it will allow a lot more light through, you'll be able to see the deeper section of these. But if you haven't, note that there's a little notch on the on the deeper end and the shallower end does not have a notch. Um, I recommend cleaning out the the slots here. Uh, sometimes you can have some printing artifacts in here. These have already been cleaned out so that there's nothing I can get out. But if you have an X-Acto knife and just take it in there and clean it out and you can slide each of these sidewall pieces, you should have six of these and they each slide in. You want to make sure they go all the way in there straight and that you can see straight through where the peg is going to go through to hold these pieces in place. And we should just be able to quickly get all six of these in. You'll notice sometimes they fight you a little on the on the sides. In the end, we want to get them all in and in and straight. So, see how this goes. Okay, these all look about straight to me. Um, so we've got the two shorter of the four pegs, the, the longer ones go to the top bracket, but the two shorter of the, of the long pegs. Um, again, we're going to want to make sure we do this in the correct orientation. So where the notch is, if you're looking at the side where the notch is on the right, you've got this correct. There's a little bit of threading on the end of these pegs to kind of give them a little extra firm hold in place and, and later we'll grab a pair of pliers and twist that a little. For now, I'm just going to get it into place, make sure it goes all the way through. Okay, so we've got these held in place. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is put the sidewalls on. I've got sidewall printed here. You can alternatively print these with a solid wall. That's going to let a little less light through. And again, because I really want maximum visibility here, to allow troubleshooting in the future, I prefer to have these transparent sidewalls. And it's a little tricky to get all these lined up, but you want to feed each of these walls into the slots on the sidewall. And if you get it just right, you should be able to pick it up and kind of gently lower that down into place. And you'll notice this becomes a lot more sturdy when we add these. And of course, when we put the top bracket in, it'll be sturdier still. Now, now with those in place, it's a little harder to put the whole thing on its side. So I'm going to try to do this just in place here. And looks like I've got it. All of them look to be in place. All of them are lined up. So now just to, to complete the, the structure of this frame, we're going to add the top bracket on. It doesn't matter which orientation this goes. We just need to get the sidewalls exactly into here. There is a slot. I guess I could do it this way. There is a slot along each of these sides for the sidewalls to go in to hold that in place as well as slots for each of the separator walls. So. This way, there we go. Got it more or less aligned and tap it down a little and voila. And again, here it's a little more visible. You'll notice with the, with the back wall hanging to the right, we've got larger uh, divots on the side here for the pegs to go in. And again, we just I'm going to slide them in for now, but later I can tighten those up a couple turns just to make sure everything holds in place. 